<laughs> Alright, welcome back everybody. We're in our part two of the Lost Levels. Uh, it's not gonna get any easier, unfortunately. So, Lord help us all. <laughs> yeah, look how much faster those piranha plants are. And they don't stay in the pipe if you stand it's beside it. It's only yeah, Jesus like every can other piranha you. plant. <laughs> They're lost for a reason. <laughs> Mario's Lost Levels? More like Mario's Lost. Um. I, I'm not religious enough to think of a, a word. Uh, Mario's lost soul? <laughs> yeah, I guess that makes Yeah, yeah, okay. sure, yeah. Yeah, wow. yeah, he's in- Oh yeah, wind is in this game. For a minute there, Brennan, I thought you didn't have a joke there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so wind. Um, I don't like the wind in this game. It's very spontaneous, and it just happens at the worst time. It would be nice if it had, like, some kind of prep up, like, the wind starts, like, slowly, like, you see some leaves blowing, but it doesn't affect you at all, and then, like, after a second, then it starts, just for a warning. But no, this game just uses it whenever it feels like it, whenever it just wants to mess you over with a platform. Yeah. You'll see. <laughs> it's, like, considering what modern-day Mario is like, it's so weird that this was an actual official game. Like, cause this, uh, like, this is said in, like, every review ever, but it's because it's true. This feels like a ROM hack. I played, like, really hard ROM hacks before, and yeah, like, a lot of them are Like, obvious. what is this? <laughs> what is this? This is not level design. <sighs> what? Someone fell asleep on the keyboard and created this. <laughs> like, Miyamoto was taking his graph paper and, like, drawing out every little square. <laughs> like, I want you to make this. Uh, he, he spilled his ink bottle and it just, like... <laughs> cover up the entire thing, and then the level designers took that seriously and just it, did that. This should work. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, don't question it. Miyamoto. <laughs> Even back in the Lost Level days. <laughs> yeah, he was prolific starting out. <laughs> He's why games didn't have a save feature. It was his decision. It was his decision I don't know. solely. I don't know. I just want to blame him for every bad thing old games did. <laughs> like how people blame him for like anything Paper Mario related now. Yeah. Which, I mean, they got some of them. Eh, yeah, there's, there's some guy. truth to it, but it's not yeah. solely him. I think there's one good thing he does, Pikmin, and there's no Pikmin for you. <laughs> okay, I don't want to say the one good thing he does, because like... <laughs> He's done a lot of I know, things, I know, I know, I know. Also, works. I, I fell through that platform, by the way. I don't know if you yeah, saw I, that. I, I, I saw that. But his mentality only works for a specific kind of games. Like, he firmly believes stories shouldn't be in video games, and it's just objectively untrue. I know he's done great things, so it was just like a joke. <laughs> I know. Yeah, good thing I, I had just... an exit there, because, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a reverse warp zone. Yeah. I only know of, like, one normal uh, warp zone in this game. I I'm sure there's more, at least I'd imagine there's more, but I only know of one. <laughs> yeah, because by the time you get to this part of the game, like, you don't want to, like, search. Just... Yeah, the game taught you, no, don't look for secrets, what are you, an idiot like, trying to get the most out of the game? Know, for all I know, there could be a warp zone in, like, this world that takes me to, like, world D, the last world in the game. <laughs> but I would never know. What's that? You're curious. <laughs> oh, damn that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so strange how good the level design was in Mario 1. Like, looking into the thought process in the even World 1 1 is incredibly interesting. The thought Miyamoto put into that level design. And then you have this game! Like, like this? <laughs> like, that was a required thing you had to do. Oh, is this another fake game? Yeah. No, I think it actually, yeah, it actually advances the level, I believe. Wow. Like, it sends you to the bonus room, and then it's, like, part of the core level. But the previous <laughs> level taught us not to go in bonus rooms. Yeah, so the moment, yeah, so I was thinking <laughs> I was screwed when I got out there. I'm like, oh, alright, well, that's the end. Like, ugh, like this, like, what? Apparently you made that. Jeez, like, just... Um, I know some people think this game is easier with Luigi. I can't, I can't handle his traction. <laughs> It, it, so, like, I'm sure some cases are easier, but like, I'd rather play as Mario. Well, share some of the tight To be honest, uh, tight. Yeah, but, like, the traction is a yeah, big thing yeah. for me. I, I can handle it in a lot of other games, and not a game as precise as this. But, like, I tend to prefer Mario anyway, with the exception being 64 DS, because Luigi is incredibly broken in that game. <laughs> He annihilates everything. Yeah, he's a god in that game. Backflip. 
twirl the backflip. Yeah, and skip like yeah. entire levels with it. It's crazy. <laughs> It is, he's so much faster, too. He swims at, like, double the speed of Mario. <laughs> Did uh, him running on water ever, was that, like, useful? No, that, that's not useful a single time. Okay. It's just a thing. They, they put it in, maybe they had an idea for it at some point, but they didn't make any use out of it. What a weird thing to add. <laughs> I had this, like, Six what? Like 64 DS was such a strange... 3D Mario game, like, it had a Paper Mario boss in it, Goombas. <laughs> <laughs> like, a Paper Mario boss, that's so weird, I love it, but what? what? <laughs> that's, that's not a thing any mainline Mario game does, taking RPG characters. Heck, Waluigi can't even make it in any mainline game aside from being able to wear his clothes in Odyssey. It's really weird, because, like, it's borderline just, like, make a sequel with that concept. Right. Why remake Mario 64 with that? Uh, I mean, I don't think there's enough new content to really justify a sequel, so I guess it's an in-between. Yeah, it's like an awkward, like, no man's land. Uh, to be clear, everyone, I like 64 DS. I think it has a lot of problems, but I like it. Jacob, I don't think does, so send all your hate yeah, comments. I don't like it at all. <laughs> The D-pad controls do suck, but I don't think they ruin the game. I don't think the original game controls amazing, amazingly well either, so... It does control better, to be clear, I just... The extra stuff I like, I think it makes up for it, personally. Yeah. And also, I, know, I, I know I'm nostalgic for it. it too, because like, I grew up with the game on the 64, so... Oh, I'm biased too, I grew up with the DS version. I didn't touch the 64 version until I was like 14. Mm. Oh, well, there goes my stuff. <laughs> that was actually the Mario game that showed me Goombas exist, because I grew up with Sunshine, which had really weird enemies. There's always something I like more about That's... my original. I, I, for me, I don't prefer one or the other. I, like, it depends on my mood, which one I want to play. Because, like, I really like the extra content of the original game, but... You can do a lot of cool stuff with Mario's moveset in 64, and that, stuff, that same stuff is much harder to pull off with eight directional controls. I feel like now, like, it's not valued as much, because, like, I can play Mario 64 on the go, use an emulator, and a lot of the extra content, like, the extra characters and stuff, I can just get through mods. Yeah, but, like, they have different playstyles and everything. And Yoshi is really cool, not, not really useful, admittedly, but, like, they kind of implemented Yoshi's Island gameplay in 3D. That was a yeah, cool idea. Weird, like, fire breath and stuff, which is cool. <laughs> that was used, like, one time in the whole game. Yeah. No, no, two times. One for a red coin and one for a star, and that's literally it. <laughs> And I don't. Th and aside from Goombas, I don't think you need to use uh, the egg throwing at all. But still, the fact they implemented Yoshi Island, Yoshi's Island gameplay in 3D is really cool to me. But that's what I mean. Like, Luigi they should have just like I don't know. Like I know there's like not enough content, but it's just like, why is this like a remake or whatever? It's just I don't know. It's weird. I don't know, I, I think a lot of the cool things he added kind of justify in ways, like, my mind was thoroughly blown when I saw you can go through the mirror as Luigi in that mirror room. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that is true. I'll give it that. Like, that, that was insanely cool. Yeah, that was cool. And you go through that door, you go through this, like, white void, that is such an awesome idea. <laughs> and, like, okay, I know Waluigi in that game has been thoroughly disproven, but when I was younger, you have no idea how cool it was learning that Waluigi quote-unquote, was in the game. He's just incredibly well-hidden. Because, like, yeah, some of the characters were pretty well-hidden in that game anyway. Like, Mario, I spent, like, a solid three years of my life having no idea how to get him, and then one day I found out, oh, you can just go through the mirror. That was so cool! <laughs> I, I, like, you don't see this stuff very often in uh, platformers, I don't think. At least Secret's that cool. Yeah, because even the newer games, like Galaxy and, like, three, uh, whatever, uh, Odyssey, like, you don't have that level of just, like, surprise. Yeah, yeah. Like, I love that. I want that to come back. Even if it was maybe a little underbaked, it was still cool. Oh. Yeah, like, I want more cool secrets like that, is what I'm saying. And 64 DS probably did the whole secret thing the best of all the 3D Mario games, which is weird to say, I know, but <laughs> to me it did. Well, uh, World 6, by the way. We're all keeping <laughs> yeah, we're track just, here. Yeah, we're, not, <laughs> we're not talking about the game because this game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about better games. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, how about that rumored Mario collection that contains all the 3D games? <laughs> Fred and I worked so hard to beat this game so we could talk about it. <laughs> and we're not talking we're about not it. We're not talking about it. <laughs> no. 
No, Mario Remasters. Mario Remasters. Uh, it, you know, depending on whether that rumor is true or not, that will either age this video horribly or um, age it well. We'll true. see. Please be real. Quite <laughs> horribly. No, I, I, think many, I, think too, I think too many people that are, have a pretty good track record saying it's true. Like, there has to be something to it. Yeah. This, my only concern is there's only been one report saying Galaxy 2 is in it, and if Galaxy 2 isn't in that collection, I'm going to cry, because that's, that's such a good game. It feels so empty without it. Yeah. I, I'm just going to say this now. I think Galaxy 2 is much better than Galaxy 1, like, by a lot. I, I, I don't fully understand why people like Galaxy 1 more. I mean, it's fine, of course, but I just think the level design is much better in Galaxy 2. Like, the prankster comms in Galaxy 1 straight up suck. Like, oh, do the same thing, but under five minutes, which you probably already did anyway, because that's a very, very forgiving time limit. Or replay the same bosses with one health. I know Galaxy okay. 2 had the green stars, but I didn't mind the, the green stars nearly as much, because they had some really cool placements, like, they make you do jumps that you just wouldn't expect a Mario game to make you do. Well, there's some parts where you, you kind of have to go out of bounds. Like, you go in an area they didn't, I didn't even think I could go to. That's so cool to me. All the loading screens suck, though. <laughs> I'm just ranting all things about all things Mario, except for this. Except for this game. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot to say about every other Mario game, not this though. I guess. <laughs> Man, these castle levels are so brutal, though. Like another puzzle one, another yeah, puzzle. The fire yeah, that, get, that gets repetitive. Potaboo. Like this, right? Jeez, and they hide it so well in the lava there. Can it be any <laughs> lower? I remember when I first played this, I had a platform that was in the lava and I didn't see it, so I kept on trying to jump a pit, and I kept- I died every time, until I realized, oh, there was a- there was a platform there. Thank you, game, for making that obvious. Yeah, and they always put, like, the solution in, like, the absolute worst spot. Yeah, like, I'm- it's probably, like, the lowest one. How does Bowser transport lava into his castles? Didn't, did we talk about this in Mario 1? I have no idea, dude. That was like half a year ago. That was half a year ago. Yeah, it was. I, I, don't, I don't know. It was at least, at least half a year ago. I don't ago even know what I had for dinner yesterday. I was gonna so say, I think it's been a little over half a year. You know, I don't, I don't either. Jeez. Have to show I, mercy. Uh... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> to show mercy. If you're a Luigi, you would have died. Yeah. Poor Luigi's not getting any love in this so far. No, honestly, and, I think he's perfectly okay sitting out on this one. <laughs> you know what, brother? I think uh, we can have this one. I'm going home. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, do you plan on playing as, uh... Oh, oh my god. What's this? <laughs> I don't know how you feel. <laughs> I'm actually I don't know how you feel For real. I was stuck on this level for so long. <sighs> you have- this isn't even all the deaths. There was so many I had to like cut it somewhere. Oh, I see. You're making yourself seem better than you actually are. <laughs> no, I'm letting you know right now. I met the quota on how many deaths I could fit in one level. This was it. There's a quota? Yes. You get kicked off the channel if you don't meet it. Oh, I've exceeded it, so. Oh, well, then you get a raise. A raise of what? Uh, I'm not getting paid. Uh, no, no, three, three times the current pay you're getting. <laughs> Which is zero. Which is zero. <laughs> oh, thanks, uh, if guys. only if only we did this playthrough when we were making money, then you would actually get a raise. I know, right? We'd have our two cents of ad revenue I could bank yeah. off of. Maybe get a penny. <laughs> How we split two pennies? <laughs> we don't. One of us would be like rock paper scissors, just have like go for we it. We take we take turns getting paychecks. That's how small we are. <laughs> It's not bi-weekly paychecks, it's like, oh, what's what's a six-month period, uh, six-week period? Oh, uh, speaking of the wind, just deciding when to show up whenever it wants. I wish it didn't. So, is there just, like, this giant tree in the background that's, like, blowing these tiny little brown leaves whenever it feels like it? Like, what gives? Yeah, it's not even fall. Whoa. I think we uncovered a, a conspiracy here. Wow. 
top. Oh, skill. I know, oh, I tried mind. so you hard. Wow. <laughs> never mind, you're bad at this. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Rolled 7 1. Oh. Oh. I think we're halfway through, guys. The video games are supposed to be fun, right? You're They're kidding. supposed to be. I sometimes forget that. Yeah, I forgot it with this game. Like, what? Like what is this? Oh, yes, see them chase like, you! Why? What is this? <laughs> Only some of them chase you, too! Why? Oh, yeah, this, 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 like, do I need any more challenge? Like, <laughs> come on! The Bunty Beetle and Paratrooper are working together. <laughs> uh, right before the flagpole, we're like, alright, you gotta stop him somehow. <laughs> Bowser's getting it's just for on this one. He's placing all the trips. How come he never got this desperate again? Because I feel like if he did this- Oh! I see that. Oh. I yeah, see it. Do you see it? There I see it. it. Hey, I see hey, it. My garage, all... my garage couldn't make it this weekend, so I had to call in a favor. <laughs> it's a mouse. It's a mouse. Uh, you're, you're, of course, playing this on the legit Super Nintendo, just with the Super Nintendo with, mouse, With right? the Super Nintendo mouse, yeah. <laughs> Also, another yeah. non fake right. bonus room. What the heck? Yeah, I know. They like to use them, like, just use, I don't know, use underground transition or whatever. No, it just seems weird to use a bonus room as a transition for the main level. Right. You know, I, I love the Mario theme. You know, it's classic, but you get so sick of that song while playing this. Yeah. You're gonna start hearing ba da ba ba da ba in your nightmares. The thing is, like, it's not even new music. It's just, it's from Mario 1. It's not even original. Oh, so it's like New Super Mario Bros. 2. That game had literally no new songs. <laughs> I feel like that's more of a, like, that's more sad. Yeah. Yeah, because that, that was like 2013. <laughs> yeah. I got that game, like, close to launch because I. I have problems, okay? <laughs> Like, I knew the game probably wasn't going to be anything special, but I knew I was still going to have fun, because it's 2D Mario. Yeah. The only one I dislike is this, in Mario 2 USA, to be honest. Um, to be clear, I don't think that's a bad game, so no one get mad at me, I just don't like it. Just a personal also, thing. Also, this it. level, guys. Jeez. Let's yeah, this level- uh, I remember this. It is so stupid. This is the entire level, you're just doing this over and Let's over. combine <laughs> the wind mechanic with the trampoline mechanic, and make it so you can't see where you're going. Oh, he's a daredevil. Where... No. Yeah, I paid the price. <laughs> I paid the price. Come on, can you get... Oh, oh skill, yeah. skill. Oh, man. Look at this. It's weird that Bowser had enough had enough just by the second game, but after that he decides to just never do it again. Yeah, instead he decides to throw a play. I mean, who does that? Um, actually, that was Mario. Oh. He's just retelling events he's been through, so, um... Excuse you don't know your Mario me. lore? Yes. <laughs> I don't even like Mario 3 that much. Come on, Dylan. <laughs> I'm, I'm letting out a lot of controversial opinions. I don't like Mario 2 Excuse USA, and I'm not huge fan of Mario 3, Mario 3? so... <laughs> I know you liked World Over 3, but you don't like Mario 3? No, no, I do, I just don't like it that much. Oh, okay. Um, I, like, I just play the new Super Mario Brothers games, and those games heavily base themselves off of 3, so yeah. even though it's not 3's fault, it kind of just feels like another new Super Mario yeah, Brothers game to me. Long, like, even though, I, I like, know, right? I, I have a habit of doing like, that. <laughs> like, uh, I know that's not fair, but it doesn't change the fact that's the order I play the games in, so 3 doesn't stand out to me. That's Should it. I, okay. still, I still think it's a good game. Jeez. <laughs> also, I've told you my opinions on Mario 3 like four times. I, Jacob, but you see, like... I, thought, I thought that you said you didn't like it. That's what caught me off guard. Oh, I know okay, that you didn't okay. care for it, but I, didn't, I wasn't sure okay. if you'd say you didn't like it. So. But yeah, I, I do love World. Uh, there's probably some nostalgia in there because I did play that game as a kid. Both the Super Nintendo and Game Boy Advance versions. Uh, I, I, think the I think the Super Nintendo one is better. Just saying. <laughs> I would have to agree with you on that. The Mario Advance games are fine, but like they're not better than the original. Yeah. It's mostly because of the screen crunch. Except Mario 3 had those added levels, so it's kind of like... I, I don't think those are good levels, to be honest. I played them on Wii U, and I was surprised how not good a lot of them are. Hmm. There's some good ones, but most of them are just like... Oh. I haven't played any of them, so... Uh, you, you can easily download a save file that has all of them unlocked now. Oh, okay. I'll have to so, do that. Just do, do that on emulator, I mean Wii U, because... Mm -hmm. When you say em emulator official. on the Wii U, 
I mean, yeah, yeah, you're right. you're right, you're right, I... <laughs> See, I'm not promoting piracy. We're talking, <laughs> as I'm playing this on, uh, official hardware, clearly. Oh yeah, of course. It, it, ignore the fact it's HD. Like, yeah. the Super Nintendo had an HD in my port, it was just, it was just <laughs> it was covered like up all model. these years. <laughs> you had it drill in a hole. <laughs> <laughs> like the headphone jack on my iPhone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Nintendo's really innovative. They made a port that didn't, for a port that yeah. didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this boss battle is a super intense fight in the century. <laughs> the boss fights in both Mario 1 and Lost Souls are so lame. <laughs> I mean, I'll be, I'll be forgiving because, like, it's the first 2D side scroller platformer ever, but still. You know, I don't know if I said this in our Mario 1 playthrough, but, like, Mario 1 is not a game I like that much. Like, it's fine, but, like, if it wasn't for the history it has behind it, it would be, like, one oh, that... Yeah, there you go, you finally know uh, It's almost off-screen. Uh, I'm like, um, this is when I'm like... You put it back on! I'm like, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. It's on the screen. I should probably anyway. move it over. Anyway, uh... I, I think Mario 1 is a good game, especially considering when it came out, but, like, almost every other 2D Mario game except for this one after is just so much better. Yeah. I mean, you gotta start somewhere, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Like, I'm not gonna, like, harp on it, because, like, it's literally the first game of its genre. It's just it's not a game I go back to, like, ever. Yeah, also this. What the heck? Yeah, it looks like good. Uh, oh, let's... Sure, oh, why hey. not? <laughs> Word. Why not? Oh, I did it jumped through the pipe! <laughs> <laughs> right, well, the game realized you were big for too long. I, I mean, at this point, World World 8, it's like, just whatever at this point. Like this, like, what am I supposed to do? What? Oh, yeah, you're supposed to, like, hope the paratrooper just happens to be, yeah. like, right. to the left. Like, you can't even see it. That is so Look dumb. At, like, I think what? It's barely get it, too. Oh. Oh, yeah, I couldn't oh. go to the And it, well, again, why do, why do some Hammer Brothers chase you? Not all of them, just some. <sighs> yeah, like, if you jump a second too early, you're not gonna make that jump. <sighs> <laughs> you're all laughing at my failure. Oh. <laughs> you jump in between oh. two Goombas. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I would never have laughed at uh -huh. uh -huh. the uh -huh. Mario. Ever. Ever. No, never. Dylan, 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 you died in World 1 1. You have. No, okay, that is you're true. Not, you're not even allowed to be sarcastic. <laughs> Alright. That was me. You know what? I think, is it kind of beautiful that that's like the first, like. Five seconds of our channel, like for footage. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, a very good, uh, a very good omen <laughs> <laughs> wow. to a success of our Thanks, channel. Guys. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Dylan. You're why we're a failure. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're not. No, I do. I do not endorse what he had said. Only he endorses it. I do. It. He, yeah, I know you do. I know you have I'm no shame. I endorse it. <laughs> You know, people probably think I'm a horrible person going off these commentaries. <laughs> Is that why I've been stuck at around 100 subscribers on my main channel for ages now? Because <laughs> everyone who comes to watch your channel is just like, wow, what a jerk. <laughs> this guy sucks. <laughs> yeah, I was not having that hammer, brother. No. <laughs> I would rather take the potential warp zone back than deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> you literally go back. Oh yeah, so apparently, okay, so I don't know if this is like true or not with this level, but apparently that's like the correct way to beat it, is to do I that. Think, I, I think it is. I, now that I remember this, I think that is the only way to finish this level. Guys, I hope you enjoy my uh, in-depth review of Mario Teaches Typing in the next video. Ooh. <laughs> Stay tuned. Alright, sure. right, bye. Alright, bye.